Good morning everyone. My name is Paul. I work for a company called Micrographics in Cape Town, South Africa. We are an Autodesk reseller and in this morning's blog I'd like to have a look at the Civil 3D ability to export to XML file format. We came across something recently with a client where they wanted to export the corridor to an XML and it should be possible if you go to the output tab there is the export to land XML. This brings up a dialog of everything that's in the drawing. I'm going to uncheck everything and then let's scroll down to the corridors. All right, so these are Johnson Street or Johnson Avenue corridor. And if we select that and we export that, then I'm going to take this through into Johnson Avenue. Johnson Avenue corridor. And now you'll see that if we start up a new project, And we then try and bring in that XML on the insert menu, insert land XML. There's our Johnson corridor. Let's open that. There we can see that there's only so much that comes through. It's essentially the alignments that were brought through. In the prospector as well, there's no corridor. So it's limited in terms of what we've got available to us. Let's switch on and unfreeze all the layers. and see if anything else comes up. And that's all that we have with our output. Right, it's still quite useful. We've got our alignments. Those are some profiles that came through. It's not totally unusable. Right. But in this case, what the client wanted was something else. They wanted the lines that define the corridor to come through. So in other words, the curbs of the edges and and that kind of thing. The tool that we're going to use is on the home tab on the create design feature line drop down create feature lines from corridor. We'll <coughs> read what it says select a corridor. Okay so we're selecting this corridor over there and then it says uh, select the corridor feature lines. I'm going to say all. So there we can see all the feature lines coming through Can have a look at the settings. This dynamic link to corridor that's on at the moment. So in other words, if the corridor adjusts, then the feature lines will adjust. Uh, I usually switch that off when I create feature lines and crowns because I want to create surfaces from them. But in this case, it's relevant. Then we say OK, and then we extract those. And then after the extraction, we'll export or output that into Landing XML. We'll check none. Let's collapse all. Select the feature lines. Okay. Save it into the feature lines. And then let's have a look at what that looks like in a new drawing.
Right, let's go to the insert, land XML. There's the X feature lines, we'll open that. Go ahead. taking a while to process and there we have the feature lines of the curves and the edges and everything that came through like that so it's not just the alignment or anything and you can of course now use these this is designated as a feature line entity within civil 3d and if necessary you could use these as targets to rebuild a corridor in civil 3d or if it was a different platform then I'm not exactly sure how they would interact, but those lines defining that road in three dimensions, that's now available to you to work with within your other application. So if, if that's necessary for you to do, then um, the export to XML, first extract the feature lines. Whatever workflows you design around this, that's obviously going to be important for your project. Uh, best advice at the beginning of a project is have a look at all the software that you are using and try and figure out the workflows that's going to work best for you. Obviously, if this was all based in Civil 3D, it would be a simple matter of creating data shortcuts. Data shortcuts could even work for you in the cloud. If you um, have Autodesk Collaborate Pro, and uh, that might make your life a lot easier. So, you know, unless there is a compelling reason for you to to work cross platforms, uh, try and stick to one platform in the Autodesk environment, uh, Civil 3D, great package, and you can use it to your advantage on your project. If you have any questions or queries or comments, please feel free to respond to us, contact us, and enjoy Civil 3D. Until next time, goodbye.